this is one of the most astonishing sights that I've ever seen. We are looking down on the world's largest mammal vibration. Just sensational. There are thousands of wildebeest beneath me in a long line stretching across the savanna. A group of perhaps one and a half million of these animals that are constantly on the move in this Serengeti ecosystem. And they make a journey which lasts a full year and covers a thousand miles. They undertake this crazy journey because of this, because they're after these really nutritious grasses. Essentially, they're storm chasers. They're chasing the rains which feed these grasses. Now, if you look at the wildebeest, they have these really significant incisor rows and loose lips. And that's to help them rapidly eat that grass. directly, that grazing pressure is preventing the regeneration of trees, it's keeping this as open savanna. Also, the impact that they have on the predators, this is of course an enormous amount of meat on the move. Many animals will take advantage of that. Lions will simply stay in their territories and eagerly await the arrival of the wildebeest. Ditto the crocodiles that are stopped in those rivers which they have to cross en route. And then lastly, there are predators that will go out for the day, follow the wildebeest, but then go back to their dens in the evening or in the morning, depending whether they're dying or nocturnal. Things like wild dogs and those spotted hyenas. <laughs> 